You can customize the Excel workspace to better suit your working habits and to better manage multiple worksheets. Up to this point in the tutorial, we have covered the fundamentals on how to get data into your worksheet and how to edit that data. This chapter focuses on how to customize your Excel workspace and worksheets now that you have a little experience with workbooks and worksheets. Previously in this tutorial, we covered how to customize your Quick Access Toolbar as well as your ribbon. To review this, let me just quickly demonstrate those features one more time. Your Quick Access Toolbar is up in the upper left hand corner and the very last button in the Quick Access Toolbar is the Customize Quick Access Toolbar. From this menu you can choose to show the Quick Access Toolbar below the ribbon and if I select that it will move down to this location. Notice that it does take up some of the screen real estate and your worksheet area is a little smaller. If I want to move that back up to above the ribbon I would pull down in the menu of the Customize Quick Access Toolbar and choose Show Above Ribbon. That will move it back up into the title bar area of your screen display. Also note I can customize this Quick Access Toolbar by choosing More Commands. When I select that I can add any of the commands available in Excel to the Quick Access Toolbar by simply selecting them and then clicking the Add button. I'll go ahead and cancel out of this and leave my Quick Access Toolbar as it is. Now the ribbon as well can be customized and to review that the quick technique is simply to double click on any of the tabs to cause the ribbon to collapse. Double click again to cause it to expand. Now another feature that you can customize in your workspace is the formula bar. Notice that the formula bar is made up of the name box as well as the formula bar. Within this area you can type in or compose a formula through functions and various algebraic mathematical statements. You can adjust the area between each of these two features by positioning your mouse here where you get a double arrow tool and then clicking and dragging to either shrink or expand the name box or the formula bar. You can also cause the formula bar to expand in its height. If you position your mouse on the border between the formula bar and your worksheet area you'll get again this double arrow tool. When you click and drag you can adjust the size or the height of the formula bar. You can turn the formula bar entirely off if you like and to do that you need to come over here to your view tab select that and then in the show and hide group select that and notice you can turn the formula bar entirely off by selecting the formula bar option. To turn it back on again go to your show hide group select that and then again reselect the formula bar option. There is one other feature that you can customize and that is your status bar right down here. Notice that the status bar provides information over here in the left hand corner on what's going on in your worksheet and what you might need to do to enter data or to set some other option. It also has various views and we'll look at the views later in this tutorial. But to customize the status bar, right click on it and notice that you can now turn on or off the various options that are within the status bar. Take a moment and practice customizing the quick access toolbar, the ribbon, the formula bar as well as the status bar. Then move on to the next movie.